stand by with logos. Lose legal and Q logo sequence. We are ready for start of game. Okay, we are on. It was discovered that apparently four out of five dentists weren't precisely certain of the question being asked. Hi, I'm Patrick L. children's attorney at law. Do the other kids hate you? All right, we have one contestant. I repeat, one contestant. We're at 30 seconds. Oh my, all alone on a Friday night? What are you, some sort of reckless? Not to be a judgmentalist, but if I were you, I'd try to make a Conrad or two. But while we're waiting for that to happen, how about some instruction? Yeah, I'd be deluded. You'll get a question, and when you glean the right answer, choose the boutonniere next to it. And you have to watch out for the timer that's ticking away. The more promptly you buzz in, the more regal tender you'll make. Or drop. Pull it together, folks. Ten seconds. Bon voyeur. Check submarine, please. That's right. Hey, six. Five. Go to black. Look for the new Bible action figure, Larry the Leper, parts sold separately. I am Cookie Masterson, and this game may contain mild violence and full frontal donkey nudity. Oh god, you're by yourself? Please don't tell anyone I was here. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Supreme Court Children's Vitamins. There may not be a lot of vitamins in hamburger, but there are plenty of vitamins in Warren Burger. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. <laughs> to get started, astronomy. How many Earths could you stuff into the volume of Uranus before it just couldn't take anymore? Six, 63, 630, or 6300? Six? Come on, you're underestimating the capacity of Uranus. <laughs> Correct answer, show yourself. You could fit a little over 63 Earths into the massive volume of Uranus. 64 if you really relax. Coming up. Five, five dollar, five dollar artwork. Suppose Jackson Pollock had become a sandwich artist at Subway. What would his supervisor have noted about his performance? Wastes time by precisely laying each vegetable, overuses the sauce squirters, insists on cutting bread at a 45 degree angle, or always shapes the ham into flowers. Eat fresh, answer stupid. Want to see the right answer? Pollock was a pioneer of the drip method, a style where forceful, rapid, and impulsive strokes of sauce, I mean paint, were directly applied onto the canvas. And in the time it took to complete this question, five new subways just opened up in your town. Enjoy! Here's one I like to call, Who's the Dummy? So, I've been practicing ventriloquism lately, and I'm getting pretty good. I just have a little trouble with my B's, P's, and M's. Anyway, I'd like to introduce my partner, Billy O'Brien. Say hello, Billy O'Brien. Hello, Dilly O'Brien. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. Billy, it's good to see you. Wish I could say the same thing, Dunny. Oh, just, just get on with the question. Calm down, Mr. Nan. So I've been planning a trick to get away from this, Dunny, that for some un unresolved legal troddlings, I can't have a task tort. Which of these tradical destinations is a U.S. territory and therefore wouldn't require a task tour to travel to? The Dahanas, Cuda, Guan, or Dominican Republic? Is your head hollow like nine? It's so obvious. Guan is United States territory. You know, Billy, wherever you go, I have to go, too. You think I don't know that? You know how embarrassing it is for me when I'm on a date and I need you to unzip my pants? Everybody, quattro, everybody, quattro, hey. 
Coming up next... I'll dance, but I'm not wearing a hard hat. Which of these characters is not dressed to resemble a member of the village people? Woody from Toy Story, Bob the Builder, Captain Hook, or Chief Wiggum? You have the right to remain wrong. Anything you do can and probably will be wrong. It was begging to be picked. Construction worker, cop, and cowboy are all village people. Pirate is not. I always wondered what village those people came from. Wherever it was, it seemed very fun and career-oriented. And on its way, Pop Rock. And it's a diss or dat. Now I'm going to read off seven names for each one. Tell me if it's the name of a pope or the name of a Britney Spears song. If it's a pope, press the square button. If it's from Britney, press your circle button. Each one right gets you 300 delicious communion wafers. Each one wrong costs you 300 strands of hair. And God says you must finish this thing in 30 seconds or less. Or he will send Kevin Federline to your house. Okay, we're off. Innocent. Lucky. Urban. Outrageous. Hilarious. Toxic. Lonely. Not good. You want a Pope hat with tassels. Another thing the Pope and Brittany have in common? Neither of them wear panties. That's all we got for round one. But you couldn't tell that by looking at your score. Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. And keep in mind, our wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting to be picked. It's time. Take a good look at... I pezzed my pants. Suppose Pez comes out with a Perez Hilton dispenser. If your Perez Hilton Pez is packed completely full of Pez, just like Perez is chock full of juicy celebrity gossip, how many Pez could you suck from Perez's neck? 8 Pez per Perez Pez, 10 Pez per Perez Pez, 12 Pez per Perez Pez, or 14 Pez per Perez Pez? Just 10? Come on, really fill that Perez Pez up. Really fill him all the way up. He can take it. Oh, honestly. A standard Pez dispenser, whether shaped like Perez or not, holds 12 pieces of candy. And they say eating too much candy is bad for your health. But I have to say it's probably better for you than reading his blog. Next up, hole in more than one. Since Tiger Woods got married in 2004, in which year was Tiger Woods' wood anniversary? 2005, 2006, 2008, or 2009? Ooh, sliced that one. Smart people choose this. The five-year anniversary is the wood anniversary, and 2009 was the year of Woods, uh, you know, hard times. Yeah, I'm guessing he wishes there was a little less wood that year. Lord, the chicken's picking out a mate. Oh, guess I'll marry eight. Here we have foodies in a half shell. Given the dietary habits of tortoises, what would the Teenage Mutant Ninja tortoises most likely order at Pizza Hut? A Super Supreme Pizza? Meat Lover's Pizza? Hold the pizza, meat only. A Veggie Lover's Pizza? Or no pizza, just a two liter of Coke. <laughs> Unlike turtles, most tortoises are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. So the Teenage Mutant Ninja Tortoises would probably order the Veggie Lover's Pizza. Also, and I've done some research on this, very few tortoises are actually ninjas. Here's a good one. Don't come in here, I'm feldsparring. What do a Victoria's Secret model and the mineral feldspar have in common? Both are extremely hot, both are partially synthetic, both are thin and malleable, or both have perfect cleavage. Getting colder. No, no, I'll get this. 
The cleavage of a mineral refers to the way it can be split along a parallel surface, and feldspars is perfect in one direction. So that's what a Victoria's Secret model and feldspar have in common. And also both rarely speak English.